Hi, I'm Infrol Mantis, and throughout the years of my life, I've been pretty mischievous. <laughs> and because of that, I've caused quite a few problems. Wait, so you're saying if I push this button, a horde of cyborg zombies would be unleashed and may bring about the end of the world? Is that really such a bad thing? I guess there's only one way to find out. But I've also learned how to fix them, and that's why I make these how-to tutorials so you won't have to make the same mistakes that I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe today. Thank you. Good morning, evening, night, depending on where you're watching from, and from Mantis here, and today we have a very interesting topic. Today's topic is about a situation that you can very easily find yourself in when you have feelings for another person. It's the kind of situation where once people find themselves in it, they tend to lose hope and think all is lost, when it really isn't. Today's topic is about escaping the dreaded friend zone. Escaping the friend zone can be very difficult for some people, but that's simply because they aren't too sure how to do it. That's why today I'm going to tell the same steps you can follow to escape the dreaded friend zone. So let's begin with step one, which is... Step one, give them some space. Now I know what you may be thinking, give them some space, how can I give the love of my life some space? Action is required to attain the love of my life. Now this is true, action is required, but the first order of action is to take a few steps back and relax. Love has a way of blinding you to the things you say and do towards the person that you have feelings for. And because of this, people will be pretty overbearing towards the person they have feelings for and won't even notice it. They'll do things such as trying to talk to them constantly, but by doing things such as this, you're going to come off as desperate and clingy, which is a pretty big turnoff. So take a break. Stop talking to them for a few days. Let them miss you. Let them see how much of a great asset you are to their day-to-day -day life. And while you're taking this break, try to figure out what you're doing wrong. Are you being overbearing like I mentioned before? Are you smothering them with compliments? Are you telling them that you like them way too often when you shouldn't be saying that at all? Are you performing an action that's a deal breaker towards them? If you can't figure out what you're doing wrong, don't worry, so we move on to the next step, which is... Step 2. Figure out what the other person desires. Once you stop talking to the person for a few days, start talking to them again, but with moderation. Let them miss you. Your objective now is to figure out what characteristics this person desires in another person. Now you can ask this person directly, but make sure you do it in a roundabout way. Or you can talk to a mutual friend that you trust to try to figure out this information. Once you figure this out, it's time to move on to the next step, which is... Step 3. It's time for some action. Once this person has realized how valuable you really are to their day-to-day -day life, it's time to escape the friend zone. Slowly but surely, try the things that this person desires. For example, if they're into athleticism, why not try for a school team? Or if they're into video games, why not try one of their favorite games? By doing things like this, you're going to show the person that you could fulfill their desires, or at least make a significant effort to do so. However, don't make a big deal out of this to the person, because you want them on their own to figure out that the possibility of you and them being more than friends is definitely there. Do feel free, however, to tell this person that you're trying this new thing, and every so often do flirt with this person, but make sure it's something really light, something like Hey Cutie at the start of every conversation. Once you finish the step, it's time to move on to the next step, which is... Step 4. Make your move. Once this person shows interest in you, make a move on them. Now when I say interest, I mean through things such as flirting or body language, which I do have videos of, so if you like to check those topics out, I'll put the annotations to those videos in the corners of this video. I really hope this guide helps you guys out. Good luck, and Fromantis out.